it was going to be impossible for me to do a top 10 list overall because there were so many two-year-olds that really jumped up. I told you what was coming. Some of them you knew about. A couple of them you didn't or didn't pay any attention to, but you should have paid attention to today. Whatever. Um, so, uh, 10 two-year-olds that really impressed me today. Just look down the list of horses that went today. Where did my list go? That doesn't matter. Uh, when you look down the list of horses that went today, there was a lot of horses missing, right? Uh, Eternity Road was missing. Beef and Cheddar was missing. Won My Heart Hanover. These were horses I just wanted to go easy on today. But there was a lot of horses. 11. There was 11. A lot of horses that, um, that did go today that looked really, really good. Some of them had been good for a while. And some of them just really, really have been coming on late. And a couple of them really impressed the hell out of me. Uh, one on this list really impressed me today a lot. And I hadn't talked about him a lot. I said I thought he had talent. He was gelded not that long ago. Oh, there's the list there. Um, but really impressed me today. So without further ado, we're going to get right to it. Number 10, this is the horse I was talking about, Off-Road Hanover. I liked Off-Road Hanover. I told you guys months ago when I went with him, I said, this horse would be a much better gelding. He's not paying attention. He's not taking his work seriously. And uh, I needed him to. This horse, it was funny. I had talked to a client today. And I don't want to say the horse he reminded him of. Because that would be unfair to both horses. Uh, on both sides. Um, he's got a slick gait. He's very fast. He's a very powerful colt. Follows well. I put him in a position to attack and, and put away the leader today. Not to say that I could have. But I slowed him up when I got to the leader because I didn't want to go big last half and big last quarter in that particular set. Who's walk on the moon? I don't know if I could have. By the way, he finished up probably not. But I could have finished up right beside him. Uh, off road Hanover, I thought had talent. I thought would be a nice gelding. Now I'm positive he will be. Do I? I don't have any idea how fast he'll be. But he's as slick a gated. And it was funny because I didn't make the comparison. But after I heard it, I was thinking more about it. Um, he's correct. This is a very fast, very slick gated horse with a lot to offer and a lot of power. The only question is how will his work ethic be all year and how deep is he? And off-road Hanover is bred well, looks good, and he is flawless. He can really move. He was trotting around the last turn faster than anywhere else in the mile, which says a lot about a two-year-old trotting colt. Off-road Hanover was as impressive, uh, was more impressive than I thought he would have been today. That's not saying I wasn't expecting him to impress me. I just had a certain level that I expected him to be at today, and he blew right past it. Very, very good mile from off-road Hanover today. For those of you watching, we had been anywhere from 224 to 228 with a number of the two-year-olds today. The three-year-olds were a little bit, uh, a little, the, the sets were a little more fluid. We had anywhere from 210 to I guess the 220 range um I guess we're a little ahead of well we're a little ahead of schedule every year but we're right where we need to be we're getting a good look at we're pushing the horse we didn't push them for the last 10 days it was exactly 10 days ago when they were under the drone and we did push them hard we give them a, a full 10 days of going easy a couple of little training trips slow in between and then today pushed again none of them had any issues i was watching closely a couple of horses i thought maybe potentially were overworked today maybe they they uh, we were asking a little more than they were offering and i i paid close attention to them did they eat their lunch how did they seem after nobody really seemed out of sorts no real issues uh, to talk about as far as um, endurance, as far as uh, how they how they seemed. So uh, number ten off road Hanover. Number nine Fox Valley Britska. This horse is going to begin to climb the ladder. He looked goofy in behind me. You could see him throwing his head still, but not erratic. And he had been erratic before. I think he is slowly coming forward when it comes to his attitude and his work ethic. Yeah, he'd still pick not to work overworking I think if you gave him the option but I think that will change in the coming weeks and months I think Fox Valley Britska sound sharp he never gets tired he's very durable and here's a horse with uh one a decent breeding but a lot ahead of him and it's just it's up to him to grab a hold of it and take it and he's just ignorant and stubborn enough to do it I think that Fox Valley Britska, although those aren't enduring qualities most of the time, I think for this guy, they serve him rather well. And I think that he'll come forward and I think you'll see a rigid little tough horse because of it. 
Number number eight, uh, Roy Hill. I didn't realize who it was on the far outside when uh, War We Welcome and GW Chrome threw down coming out of the turn. I really didn't think War We Welcome could beat me, to be honest. I gave her every option too, and she did. She took advantage of it. Good for her. I wanted to see that killer instinct from her. We'll talk about her in a minute. But Roy Hill come roaring up on the outside, got interfered with a bit out of the turn, come flying down lane. Steve said he was driving good, finished strong, had had lots uh, had lots of pop on the end of the mile. We've been waiting to see this from this guy. And again, we did. So Roy Hill, uh, soundly at number eight, number seven, GW Chrome. Um, I told you guys, I thought GW Chrome was, uh, to be honest, unstoppable today. I, I was second over. I should have followed James because I actually started startled. That's my girl. And she began, to, she began to come a little bit unglued and hit the jog card a couple of times, which is a good thing if she's trotting that wide and that long. Um, she did hit the jog card a couple of times. I heard her and she made a break, but I startled her to begin with when I blew by her down the back stretch. I should have just followed her up into it and let George sprint because I'm not 12. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure that anybody in the grounds aside from attorney road can sprint with them, but I used a little bit of that sprint down the back stretch. And when you come with a man, Oh man, can you ever turn it on? And then kind of went a little bit to sleep and where we welcome just wasn't going to be uh, deterred today. She, Popped out of the two hole, and I really, at no point did I think that War We Welcome could beat GW Chrome today. She beat him fair and square. She beat him handily, and there's nothing against that for GW Chrome. I believe War We Welcome has every ounce of of potential to be the best horse in the burn at any given time. She's big, she's strong, and she did a lot of things today I didn't think she'd do. One, she was controlling, she was strong. Then she let me cross over to the front. Uh, Mario, when, when Mario let me go to the front getting into the last turn, I thought there's no shot that she's going to out-trot GW Chrome, and she just flat out did. He popped out of the hole, and she tore a hole right in the track coming up beside me. We were smoking on the end of it, and take nothing away from those two, but on the far outside was Roy Hill flying also, so uh, all three of those horses were very, very strong in the end of the mile today. Number seven, GW Chrome. Number six, Stacy Hanover, I guess maybe shouldn't be ahead of GW Chrome. Stacy Hanover actually had a horrible day today. Um, when she went on the track, she was out of sorts. I think she might have been in heat or something. If you watch the first lap, she is horrible. I said to James, when we went to turn into the mile, I said, this mare is terrible today. And uh, she was pacey, made a break, looked terrible. I've never seen a horse do this. She'll go along horrible. And then it's almost, I said to Kevin after, we were just talking about her. I said, it's almost like she's got like a, a car. And when I was a kid, everybody had that car that the transmission was a little slippy on it, right? Keep in mind, I'm from a small town. You know, you can feel a clunk a little while, you know, once in a while. It's almost like you feel her slip into fifth gear and then she's as smooth as silk. She uh, crossed over to the front. I felt her get a little better, a little better. And then Johnny moved to the front with something. And then I think Mario came with cut the line. I'm bottled up in the two hole and I don't know what she's going to do. I moved her to the inside and she trotted as hard as she could lay her feet to the ground from the head of the lane when I dropped her to the inside till I asked her till I asked her to pull up coming up halfway up the back stretch. She was like Jekyll and Hyde. She was horrible at the start and it's not that she got thought for those of you that say, "Well, she must be sore and she thought out." No, no, no. She was thought out when we turned her in to go. There was no thawing out process. This was something else, something I I don't think I've ever seen before. A horse that can look so terrible and so unbelievably good in one, just one training set. It's it's rare. It's rare. And Stacy Hanover, she was fantastic on the end of the mile. So I'll choose to, uh, I'll choose to talk about the end of the mile for Stacy Hanover. Very strong today. I don't think anybody was as strong as the number five horse today, though. And maybe we don't give this filly ever give this filly enough credence. I'm a lovely lady, laid outside a a race horse, a horse that qualified four weeks ago in 157 flat at Mohawk and gave him everything he wanted today. And they went a little too much. They went more than I'd like. Now, I'm not that upset about it because I'm a lovely lady. It's a pretty small, like bulldog, like uh, compact filly and nothing's going to bother her. They were flying the last three eights and I'm a lovely lady sat there and she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a horse that just won his qualifier in 157. And it was impressive. <laughs> Regardless of how much it upset me at the time, it was impressive to watch. And I'm a lovely lady. 
was very good, is very good, really should be ahead, really should be in at least number three. Whatever, I already made them number five. Is I'm a lovely lady. Walk on the moon, number four. This is a horse, Mario, and this will go. This will be stamped in time. Mario said he believes this could be our best horse this year. Take nothing away from Walk on the Moon. I like him a lot. I think he's a good horse, and I think he could be a very good horse. But I don't think he's going to be our best horse. For him to say, for me to say that he's better than War We Welcome, uh, Eternity Road, I'm a lovely lady, or, or a number of other horses, it's uh, won my heart. Hanover, it, it's it's hard to say that. Um, but he was awesome today. The first break he made, starting at the mile and a half. Uh, hi. What's up? Okay. The first, my supper's ready in case you're wondering. The first break he made, he shied away from something. Uh, you could see it. He kind of jumped sideways like something startled him. And Mario said that Danny came out underneath him and he had to go around him. The horse made a break in the exact same spot. I think he was looking for whatever was there. He thought was there before, just not paying attention. He rolled off the second time, but Mario put him in gear, put him on the front end, and man, oh man, he controlled the mile. And then I, I at no point did I think I was going to blow right by him with, uh, with Off Road Hanover. I could have given him a stiff challenge in the last turn, but Off Road Hanover is one thing. He is iron tough. And I get up alongside of him, and he just kept going and going and going. He doesn't get tired. And I, I will say this. I'm not going to go on the record and say he's our best horse, but he is a very good horse. And uh, Mario had a good day today. Mario's burn had a good day today. Walk on the Moon looked fantastic. Look no further than to the next three horses, all the way to the top, come out of shed row number one. Uh, first glance, we've been, um, I guess he was a little aggressive again today, but looked good. Uh, the other day training, Mario said he was good. He's a different kind of hot. When you look at a horse like Brilliant Corners, that's just crazy lunacy. Bottle up into a furry little animal and cut loose on the racetrack. He is insane. He is a, a very difficult horse to deal with. Danny did a great job with him this week and a great job with him today. He may come forward. I'm not certain that his brain is connected to uh, the rest of his body at all. I think there may just be... Uh, a very athletic shell with muscle and tendons and ligaments and hair and then uh, a skull and nothing inside of it. And that's how I would I would portray Brilliant Corners. He is fast, but absolutely on the edge of out of control. And first glance is not like that. He isn't bully. He, he just seems sharp, right? He doesn't really understand the sitting yet. It's April 10th. We can show him that. If he's willing to learn, we'll, we'll definitely teach him. And I think it's just a matter of wearing down that idea that you're going to overpower the driver and all the other horses. We'll get to that. He'll be fine. Most of the horses have figured that out yet uh, already, but he hasn't. And it's not the end of the world. We'll get him. But first glance looks smooth today. And he looks sharp and he looked powerful. He just looked really, really good. Very impressed with first glance today. Just not quite as impressed as I was with a horse I've been telling everybody about, Blue Monk. Blue Monk, and I, I'll put it to you this way. Blue Monk is the pacing equivalent of Eternity Road. Blue Monk is by an obscure sire. He is an Adonis to look at. Beautiful, big, strong, monstrous looking horse. He paces fast. Eternity Road trots fast. Neither of them get tired. Both of them have freakish speed. I, I'll always take a really nice trotter over a really good pacer. I think that's a fair thing to say, but I love Blue Monk. He is, uh, uh, now here's the thing. Blue Monk has had two siblings. We had them both. Buckingham, sports writer Philly. You guys remember her? Decent Philly, took a good lifetime mark as a two-year-old. Did okay, and then we lost her in a claimer as a late in her three-year-old season, but she did good for us. Kevin did a great job with her. And then uh, Harry had the other sister, Trafalgar. This is Buckingham and Trafalgar's brother, Blue Monk. And Blue Monk, it shouldn't be shocking to anybody that he's fast. Tell you what the one thing he is, and I told everybody this, it's hard to tell who the best is. We know who kind of is fast. And I don't want to say this one's by far the best, even though it could be Eternity Road. I don't know. But um, there is undoubtedly two horses that are far more intelligent than any other animal on the property, maybe that I've seen in quite a while on this property. One is One My Heart Hanover. No question in my mind. Number two is Blue Monk. Blue Monk knew the square root of zero about being a racehorse when we picked him up. 
I couldn't even handle him. He didn't know how to walk on a leech shank. He laid down on the floor and I thought he broke my leg. The horse knew nothing about being anything other than the wildest of wild animal. And that was only in November. This is April and he's this smart. I, I say this as a joke sometimes. I mean, it's almost like you could teach him French or math. He's the smartest horse. Him and One My Heart Hanover are head and shoulders above any other animal in the property. As far as racing intelligence, understanding, it's like everything we tell them, they write it down and they practice it in their head every night before they go to bed. It's just the horses are, these two horses are just sheerly intelligent animals. Blue Monk, uh, strong, doesn't wear a boot. I don't even think we have a pole on him anymore. Maybe a line pole. Just a fast, fast colt. And an impressive animal to watch, especially since I know where he came from. So Blue Monk, number two easily. You guys know who's number one today. There is absolutely no way to refute who number one is. And that was one, that was War We Welcome. She was impressive. I really didn't think at any point in the mile she could beat GW Chrome. Now I came from eighth and I moved him hard down the backstretch and she was on the front on her own and sat in the two hole. We can go back and forth. It really doesn't matter. Both trotters were fantastic today, but War We Welcome showed why we've been touting her since day one. She looked incredible. So that's the top 10 list for two-year-olds. Off-Road Hanover, Fox Valley Britska, GW Chrome, or sorry, Roy Hill, GW Chrome, Stacy Hanover, I'm a Lovely Lady, Walk on the Moon, First Glance, Blue Monk, and War We Welcome, 10 horses that really, really, really looked good today. I'll be back, not in a minute, supper is ready. I might even be back tomorrow. I'll be back at some point before Monday to tell you about top 10 three-year-olds I saw from today. Take care.